back in week seven. The Colts won a shootout in their first matchup against the Dolphins. Can Miami get revenge? Find out next on Madden Football. Playoff fever has a nurse South Florida as we're at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl. And it'll be a great one between the Indianapolis Colts and the Miami Dolphins. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship game, may have more intensity than even the Super Bowl because you know what the stakes are. You're trying so hard to get to the big game that this is the, this is the one that's the real challenge. Super Bowl, and we'll know soon enough which team that'll be as we are underway in the AFC title game. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely true during the regular season. Some weeks it's the defense, the special teams running the football. But in the playoffs, all the pressure reverts to the quarterback. And he has to play well and play at a really high level in order for his team to win. An early message that this secondary is going to be tested because even though it fell incomplete, it almost felt like a warning shot to get things going. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Right back to Duvernay. That's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Second and six. This one completes Alec Pierce. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. So now first and ten as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 49-yard line. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. First and 10, Taylor now. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, that's when we turn to you live and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely 
Lee, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Toward the sideline, it's complete. An athletic grab, but still well short of the first. And this won't get there. Won't be on line either. It's no good. Off to the right. These playoff games have a tendency to be tight. You have to wonder if that missed field goal could haunt them later. Yeah, we're always looking for the key plays, right? The ones that we're going to magnify. Usually those happen in the second half or later in the game. This might be the key play of the game showing up here in the first half. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 43. A handoff to start the drive to Sims. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Again, they run with Sims. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll run here with Sims. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead them to fourth down. And he'll get nothing there. Stopped right at the line as that will wind us down to the end of this first quarter of play. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. Well, now they'll start three yards shy of midfield after that long 57-yard miss. Now Sims, and he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Off of play action, Tug of Iloa. That's caught by the tight end, Harrison Bryant. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. Now they run with Sims. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Sims. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Play action. Now it's Tua. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. The sack sets him back a full 10 yards there on first and goal. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Here we go. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Up the middle they go. Sims, and he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. On play action, here's Tua. And that will be incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw and coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. So they are able to win that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks are tell us ended with a kill, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, 
you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. Dances by him, and they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, Jonathan Taylor, like most guys from Wisconsin, he's not one to shy away from contact. He proved it right there. And with a guy his size, you have to know defensively that arm tackles aren't going to fly with him. You have to be able to wrap up, or else he can just brush tacklers aside like they're not even there. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run once more with Taylor. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 42. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Trying to lay one up deep. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Alec Pierce, 42 yards. And the Colts have taken the lead here in this AFC title game. The fly route works for the TD ground. And you know what the receivers love to say. If we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the strike. Santos with the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that drive, four plays, and it was capped off by a touchdown catch from Alec Pierce. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Miami's offense set and ready to go. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Well, big plays have been a hallmark of this offense all season, so there was no reason to think that it wouldn't continue here in this title game. Obviously, the magnitude of the event, not getting to them early. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now a handoff up the middle. Sims, and he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. And the Colts are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Colts taking the field again, running back Jonathan Taylor at center stage. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11.
So we come upon halftime in the AFC title game as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks as always. One half remains in the battle to see who will take home the Lamar Hunt Trophy and represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, time to look ahead to the NFC Championship coming up later today. And it should be a great one as well. And it's going to be one heck of a battle, that's for sure. On now to a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Colts. And even though they've got the lead, they're likely going over ways they can improve the running game as they didn't find a whole lot of success in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, they too didn't do a whole lot in terms of rushing efficiency in that first half, as you can tell by the numbers there. Both these teams going through their final adjustments before the second half. Which one will lift the Lamar Hunt Trophy? To find out, let's go back out to Brandon and Charles. Thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. Taking it about the one. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they have work to do in the second half if they want to earn that berth to the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure this is where their coaches at halftime were saying don't panic and then demonstrating it by not making a lot of drastic changes to the game plan. Let's just get back to doing what we've been doing all year long. That should be more than good enough. Love the play call that time. Love the design. You put three tight ends on the field. That screams jumbo set running formation to a defense, right? No, they go play action, and defense gets confused for just a split second. And next thing you know, completion for good yardage. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Sometimes with the running game, you just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 33 yards that time. And you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball, I'm about to make a big play. On first down, it's Sims. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. And they'll run again, but he will go backwards as he stopped for a loss. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Two and now, third and goal. Over the middle, complete. That's Sims. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So on fourth down, Dolphin kicker Jason Sanders comes off from the right hash. And this one just a chipping. Sanders' kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission. And at least they were able to get the field goal to come into that deficit. Up, right a little bit more up to speed coming out of the break you turn to your defense now and say hey we got three there we're chipping into the lead can you help us out hold them let's get the ball back for us here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half their defense has done the job now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten They'll run 
with Taylor to begin the drive. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. So they'll get the yardage on the run and get 15 more for good measure. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult to spot. You heard the sideline erupting. The flags came out almost immediately. They'll try the left side with Taylor. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. That was a terrific play, causing a loss. As a middle linebacker, simple. You can either fill holes, or you can attack them, as he did there. And the Dolphins beef up the secondary here as they look to stop him on third down. He'll drop to throw. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Calvin Ridley, 52 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Now the point after try for Santos. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14 to 6. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's Calvin Ridley who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But let's have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and ten. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Jalen Waddle, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put it to the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now to start to move the ball well. Mike McDaniel, no hesitation on his end. He's telling his offense to go for two. Two are going to try and throw for it. And now he's going to go down. A big sack, and they're unable to tie it. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. Should they have kicked it there? A third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second, you don't. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm, again, I keep coming back to I don't like to chase a lot of points, yeah. but I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Flushed out right. And incomplete on the deep ball. AFC Championship tilt, third quarter of play. This is second and ten. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Oh, no gain on the run there. Now they'll be looking at a third down. Defensive, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. 
And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that'll bring up fourth down. One quarter remains for the right to go on to the Super Bowl. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. On is the punter, Johnston now, as he sends this one away. Now Hill to return it. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. Miami set to take over. And what a pressure spot for both sides, really. But they're at home now. They have the football here in the playoffs, sort of controlling their own destiny. It's a spot they've all dreamed of. This He's got a man complete. It's a big play there for Miami, 62 yards. Sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And for a while, when this play's open, all the talk was about punts hitting the Giants' scoreboard here in Arlington. I don't think we ever heard about a pass hitting the scoreboard. But that's probably about as close as you're going to get. That one was way up there. And to put a bow on it, next-gen stats saying that traveled an even 66 yards in the air. They'll run on first down. It's Sims. They'll get this halfway home from the 8 to the 4 on a gain of 4. Second and goal from inside the 5. He'll try again. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here now in the fourth quarter of this championship game. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they drew it downfield and they counted it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Extra point and good by Sanders. And the lead is up to five. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Colts set to take over here offensively. And they are in need of points here, no doubt about that. With a Super Bowl berth on the line and trailing here in the fourth quarter, this possession gigantic. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Play action fake. They'll look to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. Chuck that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They're going to look to throw. Open man is Jordan, the tight end. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Second catch of this AFC title game, but he's got a first down. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Jordan. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. They'll give for Taylor running right side. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. But now he appears to be in some pain. The offense on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. The sack there by Rasheem Green. Well, how about that? set on defense, six defensive backs, 
None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And the pressure mounting with every passing minute. It's palpable right now. They're on top in the fourth quarter, clinging to that lead. A potential Super Bowl berth resting on their ability to manage the clock and manage that small lead. And he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Tua sets up to pass it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. This a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect... And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. So first and 10 now from the 30. Back to throw. Left side, he finds Pierce. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Back to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. The quick slant caught. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jelani Woods, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. They'll look to throw. And this is caught. And it's a three-point game. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So Tua and the Dolphins down by a field goal, a minute 14 to go. A field goal sends this championship game to overtime as they've got a first and 10. Here's Tua. Complete to Bryant, and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now Tua. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Tua to throw. Steps away. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A big third-down conversion with a gain of 28. 
Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understand where they are in the field? So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Tonga Vailoa. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Tua out to his left. Got a man here, it's Bryant. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, 26 yards. That's a big league job there, getting out of the pocket, not panicking, and just buying himself some time. Then he made a good, accurate throw to set up first and goal. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. To throw is Tua, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, but they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Sanders on for the extra point. And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with what most likely will be the game-winning touchdown. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing he just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. And the Dolphins are AFC champs, as we say. Thanks for watching, and good night, everybody.